Alrighty, we are back not to do a Mayans MC video, but it does involve bikers, it involves the Outlaws movie, also known as the 1%. Um, one of us here in this video would probably rate the movie 1% out of 100. Unfortunately, that is not me. I'm going to put the movie over. I actually enjoyed it, but uh, one of us I didn't did. enjoy it. I thought it was shite. <laughs> well, there, well, there you go. It's going I'm, to be... I'm not going to lie. I, this is, I guess this is a real definition then of a mixed movie review. Woo! Yep. Right. So, we start off the film with um, some out of his head. Well, he's not out of his head. He's just fucking brain dead. Yeah, yeah. Well, at the start, I thought he was out of his head. I thought he was, like, coked up on something, but it, it, it turns out this guy's... Yeah, he's brain dead. I'm not too sure what's wrong with him. Anyway, the, the guy's called S Skink. What a shite name. Um, so he's, he's like running well, up... I wouldn't say there's a particularly good name in this show. He, he's running up the street. Uh, he's all bloodied and shit, so obviously he's been in some sort of altercation. Um, he he runs into this house, and it's his brother, Paddle, who is the VP of the 1% Club. Uh, he's with his girlfriend, Katrina... And um, basically, some he asked for his brother's help. Then all, all of a sudden, they're ambushed by some other rival club gang, and then they find themselves like brought to some like scrap sort of junk yard. scrapyard junkyard. It turns out that Skink has been was it stealing or peddling stealing drugs. No, it was so, yeah, it was something to do with stealing them, stealing heroin from them. Yeah, stealing heroin from I'm them. I'm the guy that watched the movie. I, I didn't need to watch it three times to get a, a good overview. Yet. <laughs> so, and basically, the guy from the the rival. So it's basically a rip off of Coco. The the rival club. The, the president's called Sugar. He wants one of them dead. He's telling Skink to shoot the other guy that he was stealing the heroin with. Um, Skink doesn't want to do it. Because he's just not mentally there. I don't think he's. I don't. How did this guy ever get into the club? That's why. Like, yeah, exactly. Who promoted I mean, this guy? Who let him in? I mean, you can talk about giving this movie a seven out of ten, but this guy getting it, it's worse than fucking patching in Steve. It really <laughs> uh, is. He won't do it. They, and then the other guy's saying, "I'll, sh I'll shoot the retard. I'll do it. Give me the gun." Uh, Paddle walks up, grabs the gun off Sugar, goes to shoot the guy that's in his own club. I guess trying to save his brother. Turns out the the turns out the gun wasn't loaded. Um, then. The sugar takes the gun, loads it himself, and poof, shoots the other guy. So he's dead. He tells Skink to bury the body. And then him and Paddle have a conversation, and he's, he's referring to his dogs and stuff. He refers to his dogs as bitches, and he refers to Paddle's girlfriend as a bitch. And basically, he says, look, we, we, we want to launder your money. So they want, sugar wants to make a deal with Paddle, the VP. Why was of, he so bothered about laundering money here? Because they said they, I don't know, they can launder money. They would, Sugar says his club can launder money and that Paddle's club needs money laundered. So it's a win-win for both. But like we said... Like we I already, it's not like they're they on perfect business terms here. No, they're, def, they're definitely not. But I, I, I guess well, Paddle can't say enough. I get he was getting 30%. I, I, I guess Paddle can't really say enough. Fuck this offer. I mean, what's it going to be? there'll be three more bodies going in the hole. So... But, and plus, uh, does it not make these guys look absolute jobber? One, per I don't know what their stature is as a club, but they've just got the VP acting president, and he's been on his knees here, fucking pleading for his life with these other two jobbers, the other charter. Now we say acting president because the actual president is currently locked up in jail. And no, but do you get what I mean? Though? Yeah, no, I get what you mean. That's not a very strong start for the guy. When you look at Sons of Anarchy and Jackson, straight away he's booked. Oh, he's he's the man. Whereas we see Pado and he's on his knees. Right, when Alvarez negotiate. tells him to take off the patch, he tells him to go fuck himself. Hey, so anyway, the, the, the president's in jail. He's not taking up the ass, but he, he's giving up the ass, so I guess, yes. you know, <laughs> um, like he, he, he's raping some wee guy in the prison cell, and then he tells him, hey, that's a pretty good line, just like, if you ever tell anyone about this. I'll rape you again. No, I said, if, if you ever tell anyone this, I'll, I'll, kill, I'll kill someone on the outside just to get back in here and slit your throat. Nah, yeah, but... So, you know... I I'm guess, just not really looking at the screen at this point. <laughs> I guess, uh, well, you, you know, you, you, you your ears don't work. Can you not hear audible? Well, yeah, well, I was trying not. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. Um, so, yeah, then... So then, uh, right, well, what happens? Big man says, you know, everything. Uh, well, then, then he... he, he the, what's his name? Paddle talks to him in jail. He's like, what about this whole deal? He's like, we don't do that shit. And then that Haley person says, I don't, don't trust, trust him. him. And then, yeah. But not, to... not the president. He's willing to... He's willing to negotiate. He makes it sound like he wants the deal to happen, 
So he tells Paddle, look, Pearl, set it up. So he wants to set up the meet with Sugar. Um, fast forward. What about, what about the one? What about the guy they've just killed at the club? Is that is that guy not? Is he not that bored with him? The guy they just killed at the beginning. Ah, oh, well, I just killed him. I guess not. Like, I mean, that's that's what, that's why I don't really like about this. It didn't really feel like a, it didn't really feel like a brotherhood. It just felt like they were dropping members left, right, and center, and nothing fucking mattered. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, fast. No? Yeah, we've fast forward a week later. Um, Knox. I don't know if it's his wife. Is it his wife? Oh, yeah, we'll say it's his wife. We'll say it's his wife. Haley picks him up for jail. They go home. They bang. Um, Nuck wants her to take up the ass because he's used to giving people in jail up the ass. So they do that. And then they go and have the meet with the uh, the rival club. Um, the rival president, Sugar, prepares like a drink. <laughs> and he's got like a cocktail for Nuck. And it, like you know, it's like a, a, a feminine drink. A drink that drink. you'd expect a gay boy to drink. And it was almost as if they were in on the joke, even though Knox like doesn't want any, he's like he says to the guy in prison, tell anyone about this and I'll kill you. So it's like we're not supposed to know that Knock has been, you know, having sex with men, but by Sugar giving him this martini, it was like does or maybe like you said, maybe they just assumed that's what happens in jail. Yeah, I, yeah, it was kinda like a joke, but but not with the other members of his actual club. But it looks like Nock has no sense of humour because he takes the glass, he smashes it over the head of Sugar and he's like, I'm not doing business with you, we don't need to launder our money. And he's, he's like, I'm the president, not this guy. But see, this is where there's no consistency. One minute this guy's MC's burying the VP of this guy and then this president's out and then he's burying their... F I mean, where, where the fuck is it? Yeah. It's all over the place. But then he's like, I'm the president, me, Nox, not this guy. This guy, you he's don't a come fucking to bag by the looks of it. Yeah, and so that's that's, that's the that's the deal over. Feed his little fucking bro. That's the deal over, and then Pado, I guess, is in a shit situation because the reason he agreed to the deal was <laughs> um, Sugar would say he would kill his brother, but he didn't. So he's agreed to launder their money. But now the president is out, and the president is basically saying, "No, we're not laundering their money." So Pado and Sugar have another secret meet, and basically Sugar says, "Look." If you don't, if this deal doesn't happen, I kill your brother. And then Pado says he'll get knock, uh, he'll get knock on board. But Sugar doesn't want knock on board. Sugar says he wants to deal with, he wants to do business with Pado, not knock, because knock's a what do they call him? A fucking hothead or something. Uh, not a psychopath. Aye, he's something. Like he says I want to make money. This guy he doesn't. He wants blood. So he wants to. He, he, he basically Sugar, the rival president, tells. Paddle that he has to kill Nock and then he becomes president then that is how their deal can be successful uh, later on they get back to the clubhouse um, it's, it's almost like Nock he doesn't even feel like a member he doesn't want nothing to do with these people he's supposed not to have seen them in like two, 18 months three years and he, he doesn't even go and visit like, and they're, they're outside he wouldn't even speak to them. I mean seeing you see seeing you see Clay Get re like seeing you see Clay get released to prison or someone in the Suns get re they're all like oh and then you know they're all like hugging and all yeah, that shit. Yeah, then he rips the piss shit like I don't know who the fuck you are. Yeah, yeah. You. so they're all wearing like one percent shirts, outlaw hoodies. shirts, hoodies, and he's like burn these. And and then he's not happy with Paddle's run things. Paddle says like the club's in a better state. We're 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 not doing anything illegal now. We're we're, we're making money. And Paddle's like fuck this. I don't. I and, no, not Paddle. Knox says to Paddle like fuck this. I didn't ask you to do any of this. I'm the president, me. Um, so yeah, basically, he doesn't really agree with how Pado's running things, even though apparently Pado has been running things a lot better than Nuck has. And it looks like Nuck isn't really interested in cash or anything like that. He just wants to be a cunt. That's what I kind of yeah. got from this. Burn the hoodies, why? I mean, it was basically just his way of showing, look, I'm the boss. I didn't need to sign these hoodies. Hey, if you have to, I didn't, hoodies I, to get that across, it's fucking I, I didn't give these. Desperate. But then again, it's, it's a bit like, I guess, I guess you could say it was like Clay and Cara Cara. I don't think Clay really liked Cara Cara because it was Jackson's thing. I'm really happy. Let's not compare the two. It's fucking but there's a difference between having like a whore fucking house and a couple of hoodies. Like, I mean, it's, you know, like, what the fuck? Um, so then, then uh, Haley, Nuck's wife, finally gets them to go outside and and meet the rest of his, and then he, 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 you're right, he just, I thought that scene was funny though, no? No, it was funny, like, he's like, I don't know some of you, I don't know you, I've no fucking idea who you are, <laughs> but you've all been, sense. you've all been falched for, uh, and then there's like a prospect, and he gets his initiation, kind of, they beat the shit out of him, I mean, I know, I know they beat up prospects, but this guy looked as if he was on death doors, 
They fucking well, well, did it. it fucking and it gets worse for him, like. But they, they did an absolute number on him, for sure. Um, then we had Pado's brother, Skink, again. This is just everything to do with this guy was fucking garbage. <laughs> he tried to make you feel sorry for him, but why is he there? Why yeah, is he patched he, he, in? But, but all, all the bad shit that happened to him, he fucking brought on himself. Yeah, because he's a fucking retard, but he shouldn't be there in the first place. He, even putting a shirt on, he fucking spills a bottle of coke. Oh, God. Although he had some Why nasty he, he had some nasty scars that his dad gave him, then I think Paddle killed him, so... Um, oh, yeah. This, was this explained, or was I not? Yeah, no, it was, kind of, like, but I guess maybe, maybe he need to watch it three times to get it. Nah, well, uh, <laughs> so, then, it turns out Skink is, maybe. he's still got some heroin on him, and he, uh, he gives some of it to one of the Croatians, or what do they call them in Australia? Chicks that hang out with the club. He, he honey gives badger, I don't know. Honey, I, we'll call him Honey Badger for the sake of this video. So he gives some heroin to a Honey Badger because he likes her and he wants her to sleep with her, him. Uh, but she gets caught with the heroin, then she basically gives up that it was his heroin. Again, Which, I mean, you could have predicted this coming about the, 20 minutes. So. No, Nox just released the prison, and the last thing he wants is the fucking police, I guess, coming up at the clubhouse and, you know, putting him back inside. So he's about to go absolutely mental. Pado is uh, trying to get in the middle of it, make sure his brother's, like, protected. And uh, Nox basically says, you're out to... to um, He says, you're out to... What's his name? Skink. skink, yeah, it says you're at the skink, the and then pish. and then I'm sorry, they uh, kind of, yeah, it's kind of, kind of sucks for skink. Paddle has to take him home; he's freaking out. But we're not going to see skink versus nut because it would just be a. I mean, even though one likes to give up the ass, I mean, uh, my money would be on nut to pretty okay. much do do kinking a bit a minute. Do him in two different ways. Yeah, do two different fucking ways. So then Paddle takes skink home, who's obviously upset. He's just been kicked out. He's a fucking mess. He pisses his pants. Uh, Katrina, Paddle's girlfriend, has to fucking do his washing and put his washing in the washing dryer. Like, imagine having to do the, imagine having to clean, do the washing up. Yeah, fucking 20, 30 year old guy who's pissed his fucking jeans. Like, what's that all of it? And he's supposed to be in an MC. Yeah, oh, he's supposed to be a top. Like, I mean, I mean the, gem, the, the, gem, seven? the gem after fucking going, like, fucking put Chibs' fucking pissy jeans, pissy pants in the, the washing machine. I don't think so. Um,. Well, I mean, Bishop's that small, he probably still pisses his pants, he but fucking diapers, diapers. <laughs> on his booster seat. Pampers, anyway. Uh, pampers, anyway, yeah. Let's wrap this up. So they have a meet. like, they kind of, I don't know if they call a meeting the next day, but they're all, they're all kind of outside the clubhouse, and, and Paddle's like, uh, he's like, nah, you can't kick him out. No, we didn't, no, we fucking, he, he, he rapes a prospect, then he gets Oh, that. fuck, yeah, so, um, basically, Nox starts... They, they get a bike for knock. They they give him uh, knock a bike for getting out and all this, and he, he doesn't seem to like it. He's like, I mean, just he, see this knock guy. He just came off as a fucking arsehole. Like, I mean, normally I like the heels. Normally I like the guys that quite, kind of play the lean towards the bad guy. Like, see Clay, he kind of played the bad guy a bit, but he was likable. He had something no, about him. Nothing likable. See this knock. He was that. He was an actual cunt. And maybe that's a good <laughs> thing. Maybe that's. I think that's probably the way they wanted him to be. See Clay. Maybe they wrote the show and they didn't want you to like Clay, and I couldn't help myself liking Clay. But see, with this nut guy, you're just like, ah, you fucking is an arsehole, isn't he? Uh, so yeah, he get he gets more familiar with the the prospect, or well, he's not the prospect, the newly you know newly gained member, whatever you want to call him, the newly fucking promoted member. Uh, what was his name? What was his name Knuckle. Noisy. Knuckle. Noisy. Knuckle. No, it was Noisy. It says here Knuckle. Yeah, you're reading the wrong thing. I <laughs> think. Well, I'm gonna call him Noisy because it says. Well, it, it would make sense for this guy to be called Knuckle if he's getting fucked by Knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, and, and then and then Knuck gives him his bike, so he gives not uh, he gives Noisy the bike that the club bought him as a present, basically for getting out of prison. And then uh, everyone's going home, and it's just those two. And then then he rapes the guy. Well, no, wait, wait, let's just take things like. I can accept the guy potentially being gay because of prison, but what the fuck was the need of raping this guy? Why is that in here? Like, no, the guy's I, already established as an unlikable fucker, so this just doesn't need to happen. I, 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 I can accept them sleeping with sleep guys in prison, but like once he gets out, then there's scenes like he doesn't even want to be with his wife. Aye, because, right, this is, I'm talking about the Sopranos here, but, because like, a guy comes out in it, is gay and they all are up the pitch with him but then when Tony's talking to the psychiatrist he's like I can accept them doing it in prison but once they're out it's a different game but then I was kind of thinking but how does that really work you know a guy that does what a, a one month prison 
sentence compared to the guy that does 20 years. What do you draw the fucking line? Yeah. But, but anyway, yeah. He's a fanook. <laughs> and then uh, the sergeant at arms comes the next day, Webby, and, and he kind of sees Nook still with noisy coming at the, uh, the president's office, I guess. I didn't, from this, I didn't get that Webby. The sergeant at arms. I didn't get that he he knew that not no, the this. No, the way he looked at him. No, I think he was like kind of shocked. So you think he looked at him and went, "Oh fuck, they must have slept together." Something like that. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I thought. I no, I, I got I got. He was kind of like shocked. He was kind of like surprised. Like, oh, I wonder why he's here. Yeah, but I, I didn't. I didn't get fuck. He must be gay. I didn't get that from it. But anyway, then then they have like the meeting. Well, put it. How would Paro know all the, all this secret information? Must be, there must be some sort of. Maybe it's a rumor or something. Or oh, well, that's what maybe Webby's like. Oh, fuck, uh, maybe you're right. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe the Martini. Maybe, maybe it's fucking. I'm talking about Webby guy. Says he's over. He's just a fucking fat ginger nobody. Like, I mean, that's the truth. Is so there ginger here? What? Then he's bald. He's ginger. Well, fair enough. Yeah, ginger beard. Oh, well, fair enough. Um, then they have the the club meeting and um, Pado's. Basically trying to get his brother Skink back into the club. Why? The best thing for this is guy to be, is... Yeah, I mean... But I, I think it's more of a... That's all his brother's got. Like, this is literally all... You know what I mean? But you can still be in the club and take care of this guy. Yeah, I mean, to me, if I... See, if I was Pado and my brother was like that... I well, mean, I've never I, patched the guy in, but all right. I wouldn't want him in the club. I think, you know, the worst... The last see, thing... No, but see, it looks like in this... I think he'd easily get himself killed. It, Look at all the drugs and shit. Exactly. That's because he was in the club. I've, it looks like in this club they get like your initiation. You got battered. What did this guy get battered? They actually they maybe actually, they battered him too much. They, they battered a fucking an actual retard. They put it bluntly on his initiation. So anyway, Pad was saying, um, he's only about get. He wants his brother back in, and um, knocks like no, and then Paddle's like. He's not just my brother. He's all your brothers. And he gives like a Rick Grimes sort of speech for that. Why well, yeah, I thought it was alright. Like you probably won't put it over, but I, mean, it was all right. I, mean, I thought this scene I thought this was one of the battle scenes in the film. I this, but this is when he should have come out and said, I see your president, mate. He f- he's fucking he's like, so, he's, so, he's, like, he's sure. not just my brother, he's supposed to be all your brothers. And um Paddle's basically saying, Look, I'm not listening to you. Fucking <laughs> not, he's in. He's in, I mean, he's not out, and then Nut goes, Well, you're out too then. So, I mean, not basically just like that. No thought. No nothing. Oh, well, I don't know how it works in this shithole club. Like, maybe we don't need that. So, are you, are you tell me that the, 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 the president... How come Clay never went to Jack's? You're out of here, <laughs> son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, he just says, you're out too. No, but I think it was totally justified to kick this skink guy out. By, then, the look, by the looks of it, this not guy doesn't even know that his actions with the heroin got the other guy killed at the start. He just knows about this recently. Yeah, let's be honest. Steve, they knew about that. Then I think, I think you'd be damn right to kick him out. And then, so it knocks. He probably wanted the. He probably he was probably looking for any sort of cheap excuse to kick this guy because he's a brain dead bastard. So then, it, no, then he's like, "Knock was saying, uh, look at you, you're all like, um, you're fake." Knock was saying to Paddle, "Look at you, you you read jack on or something." What was he saying? Uh, like, it, you're all, you're all uh, appearance, but no, like. What is it? What is it? Is it what is it? No, like, this was important. This scene, and we don't even know what he said. It was important. It wasn't that fucking important. No, what was it? He, he referred something to him about like a, you're like a fake um, biker. I don't know. Wanna be, no, it was something to do with like fucking. <sighs> yeah, he called them a fake. Like you're yes, you're a wannabe, but you're not like the real deal. No, nah, it was more. It was more like, like look at your wee look now. She and then you're more about the appearance, bro. And then Pad was like, "Well, yeah, well, I'd rather be that than a fag." <laughs> and he's like, no, did he say that, no? He, he, he kind of, oh, we've all got secrets. That's what he said to him. Yeah, I, I think he mentioned something about, yeah, I know, but he, he was basically hinting. No, because Nock was, like, hinting at Paddle's appearance, like, you're, you're like a fag. Aye, but, yeah, and then he's like, oh, well, we've all got our secrets. Yeah, because he was basically saying, well, look, you think you're a pretty boy and all this? Aye. And then that's what he, and, and then, like, Paddle kind of came back at him, like, suggesting, well, look, uh, yeah, I might be the fake... Wanna be? I may look but like it, but you actually you are. are it. Yeah, it was kind of that was what it basically it was. It was. It was like not was kind of trying to say, oh, "Look at you, look like, like a wee gay boy." And then Pad was like, "Ah, well, you actually are the gay boy." So, um, so why if, if he put as half as much energy as he did to try and keep him skink in the club, they were feeling that this guy's actually gay. He probably would have won this, but he didn't. So then Pad turns his back. Next thing, next minute, knocks beating the shit out of him. Um, attacks him from behind, kicking him. Then we get Mutu. The only black guy in the club, 
he uh, pulls he pulls knock off a he pulls knock off a paddle, and then knock turns and says, "Get off me, you!" Can we say that? All right, go ahead. Right, um, this is a, he says. I quote knock. He says, "Get off me, you black bastard!" And then Webby fucking pulls a gun at on Mo Moto, the black guy. And it's like, what the fuck? I mean, I I know he's a sergeant at arms, like, but he's literally pulling a gun on a member That's of the club a, like, for just pulling off the president when he's attacking. I mean, how many times, like, see, was, see that's like there been a fight in the Suns, and, and, like, they would just pull. It's not like, oh, he's the president, you can't touch him. Yeah. See, there's, they would just try and break it up. i never seen someone put their hands on Clay and Tiggs, like, pulling a gun on them. So, I mean, this was mental, and then you kind of, like, seen that there was, like, a, I guess there was a divide in the club here. They were kind of, like, split into factions. Uh, like, uh, 30 to 4. Yes. <laughs> Something like that. And then, uh, so, yeah, Paddle goes off with his wee crew, Moto, and I don't think the only guys got names, to be fair. Um, then they're, like, sitting in, like, it was, like, a laundrette or something. Katrina comes in. She tell she gets told that he's out. She starts trying to beat up uh, Skink, and then later that night, she tells Skink that um, something about, like, your bra doesn't care about you or something like this. Aye, yeah, basically Rodney. And she says the only way to get your bra... Manipulates brother, him to actually go kill him. Basically says the only way to get... So, again, so automatically she, she's coming off as a horrible person. Not not very likeable. To kind of... To manipulate a retard is pretty low. So, yeah, well, she... No, it, was a, it was a smart thing to yeah, do. I suppose it was, aye. Because <laughs> I guess they, they need it... So, she, apparently, she the, guy they need play, it the guy dead. who plays Nock actually wrote this. So he's the one that wrote his character, fucking all these guys. I wonder if he's gay in real life, Matt Nable, who could be. So yeah, she uh, manipulates Skink to go and kill Nock. Nock goes up to Skink's house, but Nock isn't there. His wife Haley is. No, Ends up... Sk Skink shows up at his house. Aye, Skink. You said Nock shows up at Skink's house. No, sorry, Skink. What does he show up to? <laughs> fucking tour banks? Skink shows up to Nock's house, but Nock isn't there. His wife Haley's there. And she tells him to like he's not here, and it's almost as if like Skink's scared, and he doesn't mean it. And then she like throws a glass at him or something, and he ends up shooting her. So Which I thought she died here, but she didn't. So no, and Nut comes back. She see she she sees he sees her getting like wheeled into the ambulance, and the guy's trying to like just move him away, and he's like. What is he saying? Like, get the fuck off me or something like that. The guy had issues. Like, yeah, I mean, the ambulance guy is literally trying to save his his wife. It's life here, putting her into the back of the ambulance. Yeah, he, but see, he just proves all he cares about his violence, doesn't give a shit. That's the thing. If the guy doesn't want to go back to jail with the whole heroin thing, why is he fucking near battering paramedics here? I know. No, but see, I think he get... Yeah, I forget. I think the guy played a good present, like, a, like a, in terms of, a, this guy's a cunt. And you can see why the VP is trying to do things differently. And then, so, yeah, basically, knock, says to everyone, right, guns up, <laughs> we're going to war. And we get like it's like a thirty on five fucking uh you got uh Paddle finds out about this, he he rallies his wee gang of troops, which ain't many, we're like barricade it in the house. Skinks like the there. black guy's only with him because he got called a black bastard. Yeah, they never called him a black bastard. I'm fucking, the, the, <laughs> he'd, he'd have been with a uh, knock. I'm on the knock train. So then, then as soon as they get there, it's like <laughs> what the, the other guy that's with Paddle just bolts, he leaves. He just hops over the fence and is like, fuck this. He sees the numbers. He sees how outnumbered they're and he's like, I'm out of here. So he, he makes a run for it. Uh, and then Pado tells Skink to hide under the bed. I mean, you're, you're outnumbered at this stage by, I count it, about 3 to, well, let's put it, probably about 3 to 15. Yeah. And then you tell one of your three to hide under the bed. But that's what I mean. See, see this Skink guy? It's not as if he was retarded or he had, like, um, like say he was, like, mental issues. But, oh, he's an amazing shot or something like this. Ah, uh, he was useless. Like, do, do you know what I mean? Like, some people are maybe not right with him, but they're good at something. You know, like, you maybe see a movie and, like, it, like the guy might be, like, a weird, but he's always, oh, like, really intelligent at some things. Yeah. What did this skink guy offer? Nothing. Because nothing, like, imagine if he was, like, a fucking, oh, he could, uh, an amazing sniper or something. Well, I think I would have made it even worse. But, <laughs> but, then, so, but then they come here and he tells skink to hide under the bed. So if Skink can't a even... grown ass fucking if, man. If he's in a club. So if, if he can't even... If a Skink guy can't even shoot a gun, then why? how the hell did he get into the club? Is he anything about it? Like, see, actually, reviewing this movie, i got to take that seven back. I think a five would be more. I think uh -huh. a, but anyway, uh, so then they have to shoot it. Uh, <laughs> Nock grabs the gay guy and basically just charges into the house and 
throw it like with him in front and use them as a shield. I thought this was funny. You thought it was shit. I actually thought it was pretty no. The way he just grabs the, his wee bum boy as a human shield and just fucking no. I can see your point of view, but I just didn't like the whole fact that he was around raping his own fucking members. Like, but... like see Webby, the Sergeant Arms. It was like, oh, he had he had knocks back in this movie. Until it marred. <laughs> his arse caught. <laughs> He's sitting out the fence and he just jumps on the bike. And, I mean, what was that Hobbit? He was ready to shoot uh, Motu, the black guy, just for touching Nook. But then when they actually go to war... I know, it makes no sense. He bricks it and stays hide behind, he hides behind the fence and jumps off. And then they get in. Yeah. No, see, when the bikes were arriving, going towards this house, there was literally about 20 of them. But see, after like a, like a 10 second gunfight... All of them that are left died or were in the house already. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking weird. Um, I think Motto probably had the highest kill count here. He actually got a couple of them. Then he gets shot by... He gets shot by Nock. Then Nock gets into the no, house. He, he gets shot by the other guy. Right, the, fair the, enough. The, uh, what do you call him? Noisy or something? He shoots him with his gun. Oh, does he? Aye. But anyway, that doesn't kill him because... Then he comes back in. But uh, this is after... So Paddle gets shot by, by Nock. And then Skink climbs over Paddle and basically prevents Nook from shooting no, him. And hold on, this is awful. How does this Paddle? He's he's looking at the blinds like a fucking retard. I'm not out there. I'm already in the house, brother. And then the Skink guy he actually sees these two come in. He doesn't do anything. Fucking shit. You um, come out from under the bed. Do something. If you're not, just lie under the bed. Nook, uh, who is it? Motu gets back in and, and shoots Noisy, killing him. I think. But then Nock manages to turn around and get a shot off on Moto, so he did. And then it's le we're left with Nock, Skink, and the Paddle at this stage who's bleeding out. Um, and then Skink kind of grabs Nock's gun and places it on his head and is like, go kill me. And he doesn't do it. And then Nock's like, like... Why doesn't he do it? I want a logical fucking reason. Maybe it's like, look, your brother's about to die. You're a fucking retard. You're already dead. Could, could it be like that? No. Well, I'm asking you, could it be like that? I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I just, it makes no sense for him not to kill. So what did, I can't remember, does he just like, run, basically run out? I just leave. Jesus and, Christ. And then his brother shoots him? Yeah, so then, um, I think Paddle's breathing heavily here, about to die, and I guess he's like, fuck, I can't die and leave this guy all alone. So he, he kind of gives, so Paddle kind of gives like, skink a mercy kill, shoots him, then Paddle, I'm, I'm assuming, dies. Uh, Katrina gets back, she sees everyone like, leaving or whatever. She's greeting. She's caused this. This is all her fault. Pineland Margot Robbie. Yeah, that's actually a good description. Um, she, she basically caused all this by manipulating Skink to go and attempt to kill the Pred. I mean, why did she think it was a good idea for Skink? Uh, this fucking retard, why did yeah. she... She knew he was going to be the only guy to easily manipulate to date. Yeah, I, I'd have rather tried to convince Paddle, because I think he'd be more competent and could probably get the job done. Obviously, but... <laughs> no. um, so then that is basically it. Nock seems to end up back in prison. So I, I, I'm, I'm assuming somehow this whole, uh, the the that's mother... a, no, that's another thing, right? Say Skink actually kills this Haley person. See if this Nock guy confronted him. This guy does not have the composure. Like he would have fucking he would have had a mental breakdown. Yeah, like if he killed someone, he would not be able to like cover up. I lied. So it, it would never work. So um, then so he he Haley fizzes his knock in prison, and I think by this stage she's kind of learned about him, him uh, having Being sex dead. with guys and all this stuff, and then she basically says, "You're out, knock. I'm the leader now." So she, Brilliant. I guess, she thinks she's the new president or whatever. Kind of fucking reminded me of a wee bit of a Gemma here trying to take control of everything, be the boss. So, oh, so she, at least Gemma never came out and went, "Oh, I'm the leader." And when she and when she tried to fucking lead, Clay put her in her place. And then Nux kind of us what we do. And then and then Nux kind of just sat there in prison, fucking going back to raping guys. I guess that's him out. He's 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 left. Then Haley comes in and so she's even charged with here every murder around that house. <laughs> so he he gets charged with every murder, but everyone else, Webby gets hee haw. So then. Uh, Haley goes to the clubhouse. Webby's there. She, I think, she goes to tell him to do something. And the next minute, Katrina just shoots her brains out with a gun, and and then it appears like Katrina is now. I got from it like she was the leader, or maybe it was like they were respecting her wishes. But I don't know why Webby all of a sudden would be lo Why would Webby be loyal to Nock and then choose Paddle's girlfriend over Nock's wife? 
Because the writing fucking sucks. All right, I'm not. I'm not saying it's a great film, but see if you enjoy oh. Sons of Anarchy, right? And you enjoy the mind. There's not many. I don't think there's many biker films like this. I haven't watched any biker films, but this doesn't make me want to watch more of them. It just makes me appreciate fucking Sons, and I'll move on with it. I mean, I thought this was. I, th- I thought it was an alright movie. I'm not saying it's a classic. I mean, seeing you seeing you break it down, you refute it. The writing kind of is all over the place, but hey. I mean, it was alright. The can't... ending sucked. Yeah, the ending I mean, we don't even see the sugar guy after like the halfway point. Like, had he not shown up at the end or something? Club I, not... I, thought, I thought he was one of the better characters. Could his club not wiped out the rest of these guys at the end? I'm be, I, let's be honest. I, I'll be completely. Let's be completely honest here. I am. I'm always completely honest. I never really liked Webby. Right? I thought he was shit. Now let's take a take a take the fact away. Right? That Nuck was shagging men in prison. Do you not think Nock and Paddle were a better president in VP than Bishop and Tazza? Oh, we've got a couple of things in common there. But, uh... <laughs> no, but I think the way they've done it. No, do you, do, would you not think their characters, would they, they had better characters after 90 minutes than Tazza and Bishop did after two seasons of Mines? For me, hands down. Yeah, but I don't like the way the show portrayed the pres. Well, no, like not that the. No, I, 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 I feel like the president here had like it seemed like he had so much more authority and power over the club than like the actual club. I'm not saying the president doesn't warrant that, but here, like, you, like you could say, oh, Jack runs the club by himself. He does all these side deals, but here it's literally it just seems like this guy. That's it. No, no one else gets a fucking <laughs> more than. I don't like that. I know, but see, 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 just and, like, and the VP was a shite bag. Who, who played a better part here? Who is president? Not Knock or Bishop? No, the Knock guy, but I just didn't fucking like the movie. I thought it was pish. And I thought Paddle was a better VP than Taza. But he was a bit, he was a shite bag. He could have very easily have fucking swayed people in his way, but he fucking didn't do anything about it. Well, he had, he had Loto in his way. And, and, and why was he so against killing the Knock guy? He clearly seen that he's an unhedged fucking retard and he's going to lead this club to shit. Oh, no, shit. he basically says, look, Knock, you took me in. I think, I think he had. Oh, it. I think I, I think it was like a. I think they had like a kind of father son relationship, and he didn't want it. I mean, like killing the guy was like the last resort. He wanted to do it. With, he wanted to like solve things without killing, him, which I can totally understand. Oh well, but he didn't. Because in the end, like the right, the writing sucked. Right, it was all over the place at times. I totally get that, but I don't know any actor. Well, no, we, I guess we know them now. I mean, oh, well. Mar- Margot Robbie, Poundland. Uh, but anyway, I, like, I, I thought, I, I mean, to me, yeah, I mean, I thought these characters were better than the mines. I did. I'll stand by that. Well, I've watched ones, but they're just those two. Yeah. I wouldn't say any. I hear it skink. I didn't mind the other. Pr- I think the cuts. <laughs> no, but, 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 but let's be real. Like- I well, I didn't like skink, but I think I think he, I think his character was developed more than a gilly or a creeper. <sighs> I'm, not, I'm not saying I preferred them, but I think his character was more. Oh, come, yeah, it's not oh, come on, get it's not. I'm oh, fuck. I'm sitting there defending the minds here. No, 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 who's better, Knock or Hank? <laughs> like, see, three seasons of Hank or fucking like ninety minutes with some Knock. I mean, what what character are you looking at and going, fuck me? I'd rather watch this guy than that guy. Well, it depends what scenes like. But I get your point. <laughs> you know, well, you know, I thought I thought the sugar. I thought yeah, I thought the other present. Fuck you. I thought the other present was all right. Like maybe Sergeant at Arms are just shite outside Tig. Because tell you what, see Webby and I thought, was pretty good. Webby and Hank were about Liam the same. Liam O'Neill's pretty good. Uh, Liam O'Neill's no bad. Anyway, that's it. What you get rating wise? That's I, I gave it a four on my channel. And I actually, you know what? Looking at, it, I think it's a bit high. I'm I'm gonna give it a. What's actually wait, wait, what's actually good about this movie? Hit me with that. Well, Poundland, Margot Robbie was pretty hot. I actually thought I thought the president played a really good job. He reminded me. No, but well, he just seemed... was ruined after he was fucking guys in the prison after about ten seconds of screen time. So, so you can't look past that once you see that. That's him done. That's no. his character fucked for you, literally. <laughs> I, I, I kind of like past it, but once he fucked the prospect, it kind of almost ruined the movie for me. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. If Clay did that, I just couldn't fume. Was... Did you not see Paddle as like a fucking rip off D first and a Jax Teller? Yeah, bro. And I would rather that over a fucking Taza that was not developed at all until like midway through season three. And on that note, guys, I'm going to give it a. I'm going to get a six just because I need to. 
try and bump up by, the rating a wee bit. In my so. opinion, right? I have no problem with fucking gay characters or whatever, but the president shouldn't be it, right? It's either going to do like a biopic out But John. it shouldn't be. That, that, and that, that's what Pado was like, uh, uh, alluding to. I, know, I get that. I get that. But I don't want to fucking see it. Like, well, we all have our secrets, as in, here, if that wasn't a secret, you'd be kicked what, out. What, what's better? Clay killing members behind the club's back or this guy fucking members behind the club's back? Well, I know, I know what <laughs> well, that's Taza. Oh, oh. He does both. He does fucking both. Did you, I, I just, Taz is the best at them all. I mean, there you go. Go Taz. Anyway, right. Six, five, five out of ten. He gives it a four. I'll get a six. Five out of ten. Six. Aye. I'm just hating your stuff I've gave ratings to in the past. I fucking might need the bump shows up. I gave the condemned a seven out of ten. Or seven and a half, actually. It was seven and a half. What? I would, I would give the condemned. I think minimum an eight. Like, probably give an 8.5. Aye, but you want to rate this basically near on par, is it? Nah, I mean, condemn it better than this. Right, anyway, that's it. I'm giving it, I'm giving it a six. Fucking stone cold or knock. Giving it, giving it. What? Knuckle? Skink? <laughs> giving it a. Every time he's on screw. <laughs> give... So he's getting chased by knock. Five. <laughs> Well, I guess that would cause you panic. Five out of ten, guys. There you go. Um, watch this movie. Let us know what you think. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can bring you more biker bad boy action. No. That doesn't involve Knock. No. Anyway, till next time. Knuckle Dune. Watch this movie and enjoy. But until next time. Knock. Peace. Knock off.